What's up guys, good morning, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a how-to on how to change the oil on the C8. We've got everything I believe that we'll need over here. We got some ramp, we got a 15 mil socket, we have eight quarts of Mobile One Zero W40, got the Mobile One oil filter, the M1113A, and then some shot towel. In the manual, the first thing that it says when you're changing the oil is to run the engine at idle for about 20 seconds to return all the oil back to the dry sump oil tank. So pulling it forward and getting up on the ramp should be about 20 seconds. And just for a little extra safety. Oh man, that was probably the worst spot for the front end to end, but yeah, probably not the best way to use the shocks, but I think we'll be fine. Famous last words, right? When changing the oil, I could just throw a little cardboard underneath. It's a little softer than the concrete, and just in case the oil drips everywhere, easy cleanup. All right, let's crawl up under here. That's the front of the car. We're at the rear, we're sliding under. You can see the oil filter right here. I believe that hole has the drain plug. Indeed it does. So what's really cool about this drain plug is that's a T15, but in the middle it's a Torx. Just in case you strip the outside, you got a backup plan. All right, so we're gonna get our oil pan ready. We're gonna loosen up the T15. It shouldn't be hot. We just ran it for about 20 seconds. All right, so we got it loosened up to where I can turn it with my fingers. All right, here she comes. It's a little warm, not too bad. We're gonna take the bolt and inspect it. There's an O-ring on it. Oh no, let's see, let me pop this. Well, that was almost bad. Make sure you uh, get some airflow in here or it's gonna overflow. And I believe we're getting rid of seven to eight quarts, which is 10 quarts, so it's plenty. All right, so here's our bolt. This is the longest drain plug bolt I've ever seen in my life. In the manual, it says to inspect the O-ring and replace it if it's damaged. So when you're going to clean this off, just be really delicate with it. Be careful not to damage that O-ring. Ours looks pretty good. I don't see any damage on it, so we're just gonna reuse it. Sometimes oil filters will have like a little package in them with the new O-ring, but oil filter does not come with a O-ring. We're gonna give that a little while to drain, maybe about five, 10 minutes, and then we'll move over to the oil filter. Usually I would do both at the same time, but my container's not that big to reach from front to back, so we'll do this first. We'll put the plug back in, and then we'll go ahead and drain the oil filter. While we're waiting for it to drain, we'll talk about the oil. The oil I have here is the Mobile One Zero W40. It has this logo here, the Dex OS 2. In the manual, under selecting the right engine oil, it says that this car needs to have the DEX OS2 specification mark on the actual oil and for it to be the 0W40. At first, I went down to AutoZone and tried to get that oil. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it anywhere. I went to Advanced Auto Parts, went to AutoZone, none of them had it. I ended up just getting the Mobile One European Car Formula 0W40, thinking that was the same, but it doesn't have the DEX OS stamp on it, so... I don't think this is the one to go with. What I ended up doing was going down to Chevrolet. They actually had some extra ones. So I bought seven from them because I already had one left over. But for those seven quarts, they were $11.84 each. So a total of $88.69. When I went down there to pick it up, they even said they're having problems keeping it in stock and finding it. So I think it's gonna be a problem everywhere. So just make sure you can find the oil. All right, so I think we got most of the oil out. So we're gonna go ahead and put our plug back in. Got her tightened down snug. Let me get the bolt all wiped down just so we can check a little bit later and see if anything's leaking. All right, so check out the oil filter. You have a little, some kind of cooler or something right next to it, so be careful. Don't cut your hands up or anything, but let's get this thing out of here. Uh, there we go. All right, got the oil filter loose. Let's see here. Let it drain a little bit there. Bada bing, bada boom. Too easy. All right, we're gonna let that drain a little bit. Looks like it's dripping still, but we're gonna take a look at this oil filter. All right, so here's our oil filter. Nice and clean, you don't see any contaminants, no metal, no shaving, no nothing. So it looks really nice. Here's our replacement filter. Oh, our old one was an AC Delco, had six holes up top. Our new one is a Mobile One with about, looks like eight holes up top. I was always taught, grab some oil, Probably some fresh oil, but just go ahead and lube up the seal there before you tighten this thing on the car. And I also always was taught to prime your filter, so just go ahead and fill this up about halfway, so that way the motor is not trying to feed that and prime that while it's trying to get oil to the rest of the motor on startup. And in case anybody's wondering what it looks like up in here without the filter, and let's take a look. This is where your oil filter attaches to. Gonna go ahead and clean all this up a little bit, get any excess out of here off, so that way we can take it quick look at it and see if it's uh, leaking any oil. All right, we're gonna get our primed oil filter. We're gonna shove it up in here. All right, let's 
Put her on there, get her nice and snug as best you can. All right, and clean up any oil residue underneath. All right, so we got our drain plug done there. We got our new filter in here, all cleaned up, so it's gonna be really easy to see if there's any leaks. All right, so technically we're kind of done underneath, but before we put it back on the ground, we're gonna put the engine oil in there, get it started up, and then just go back underneath and check for any leaks, just in case. All right, guys, so over here on the passenger side by the motor, this is your dipstick for the oil, and then this is where you're gonna pour the oil in. Gonna turn this thing counterclockwise, open it up. Oh man, I don't know if I have a funnel. Now, according to the manual, engine oil with filter, you're looking at right around seven and a half quarts. Unfortunately, I forgot a funnel, but we'll just have to make do. So here we go. Here's our first quart. Look at there. Perfection. Let's see if I can do that seven more times. And then I just like to leave it there and let it just drain out for a second. I'm gonna repeat that about seven more times and then we'll go and get it started up and then check for any leaks underneath. All right, we just put our seventh quart in. I'm gonna put about half of this quart in there. A little bit more. Here we go. I'm gonna put that cap back on. All right, so according to the manual, in order to check the engine oil, you need to go ahead and turn the car on, get it warmed up to about 175 degrees while the engine is warm and running. You're gonna come on over to the dipstick here and check the engine oil level. All right, let's jump in here and get her started up and warmed up. I don't know if I have anything on my back or butt, so I'm gonna throw a towel in here and then we'll get her started up here. All right, so what you guys are gonna notice is my engine oil still says 13%. I'm actually headed to Homestead this weekend for a track day, so I wanna go ahead and get some fresh oil in there for the track. But while we're here, let's go ahead and reset that engine oil percentage. I believe all you do is once you're in this menu, you're just gonna click this down, and then you can see it says reset engine oil, reset transmission fluid. We're gonna click on reset engine oil. Reset engine oil, would you like to reset your values now? Yes. All right, so our engine oil is at 100% now. Gonna let her warm up a little bit till we get to about 175 degrees. I'm gonna put her in track because I believe in track mode it shows you your engine oil temp. Yep, right there, 100 degrees engine oil temp. So we're gonna let that jump up to 175 and then we'll check the engine oil level. We're getting close, we're at 169 water temp and oil temp at 136. In the meantime, let me show you guys where that menu was for your oil life percentage. So you're gonna scroll over to the right till you get to the fourth tab. It's the maintenance tab, and then you just got engine oil and transmission fluid. Too easy. And again, to reset it, all you do is press down on that, and it's gonna ask you which one you wanna reset. All right, we're sitting at 149, 178 water tip. I'm gonna get underneath the car, check for uh, leaks one more time, and then we'll get it set on the ground and check the oil level. All right, let's slide under here one last time. That looks clean, and that looks clean. Should be good to go. Right, guys she is up to temp go over here and check the engine oil level pull our dipstick out it's gonna be hot so be careful all right i don't know if you guys can see it on camera but there's like a little checkered portion there and that's where you want to be i want to show you guys this too i don't know if you guys can read it uh it's gonna be hard to get on there but basically what it says on this thing is to check with warm engine and running at idle all right so we're gonna slide her back in there pull it out and see where we're at all right you guys can see it on camera, but we are just a little bit ha past the halfway mark on the checkered portion, so we are good to go. Well, there you guys go. Super easy to do a little change on the Corvette. Thank you, Chevy, for putting those cutouts underneath so you don't take any of the bottom panels off. But that's gonna do it for the video, guys. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do that as well. And we'll see you guys next video. Later. <laughs>